Okay, so for this example, we're going to do what it's called a paired test. And so if you consider the scenario, we have a group of patients suffering from chronic iron defici deficiency. They're treated with two new drugs, drug A and B. First, they're treated with drug A, and after a few days when the influence drug A has worn off, they're treated with drug B. Iron tests were conducted, and the results are shown in the table below. And so here's patient A, and they have drug A. Here was the iron test results of whatever this unit means uh, for each. Here's patient B, has their results, and so on and so forth. A part says find the differences between the results obtained from drug A and B. Okay, so if I'm going to do the differences, I've already added in list 1 I put drug A, and list 2 I put drug B. And I can use my calculator to help do this. I'm going to go on top of L3, and then I'm just going to go L1, so second 1, subtract L2. And it's going to take my lists and subtract them. And so the difference here, the difference, I get negative 3, 3, 5, 4, 6, negative 6, 2, and negative 1, of course. Okay? Now, why would I do this is the question. Well, the biggest reason what I can say if we're, if we're testing drugs, there are so many variables that come into play. The time, uh, the age of the person, the gender perhaps, um, what they eat, just to name their exercise, just to name a few. And so in, to compare patient drug A with patient B, drug B, it wouldn't make much sense. When we put match A to A, we have a good control because the person themselves is the best control because they are the same age, same weight, same diet, the same sleep patterns, and so on. And so we do the difference because these patients control for each other for all kinds of other confounding variables. And so B part says now find the confidence interval. Well, I'm naming my interval a T interval as opposed to a Z interval. And I'm going to do it on the difference in part A. So I'm going to do a 90% confidence in interval. I'm going to go to my test, T interval, and I'm going to use data. I'm going to use L3 data, L3. Frequency is 1, and I'm looking for a 90% confidence interval. And I get my values when I do so. X bar, X bar is 1.25. S is 4.20. N is equal to 8. So the degrees of freedom is equal to 7. And so my confidence interval is negative 1.564, comma, 4.0635. Now, interpreting my results, well, the fact that zero is inside the interval, it tells me that there is no difference between the two drugs. So therefore, since zero is in the interval, is in the interval, there is no difference between the two drugs. Okay, that's what this confidence interval means in context here. All right, so here's the idea of paired test. We do it to control as many confounding variables as possible, and then we can crunch out the confidence interval from it.